Now, this is Bob here, and what I'm going to do in this video here is show you how to operate the new computer on the Model 54 Bender. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the switch, turn the computer on, and you notice it comes up JD squared. Um, hopefully these digits are relatively in focus. In real life, they're actually very bright and very clear. A video might fade them out a little bit. That is not the computer. That's just us not being fantastic videographers. Anyway, when the computer comes up, it's going to be in what we call the program selection mode. It's important to remember there's only two modes of operation. It's a very, very simple computer to operate. Um, program selection mode allows you to do just that. You could select the program and only select the program. So if I hit a plus button, for instance, I'm on program one here and it's preset at 98 degrees. Program two is set at 97. Program three is set at 184. Program four is at 68, etc. Let's go back to program one. We've selected set for 98 degrees. If we hit both buttons simultaneous, in other words, we're going to change up op to the operational mode. This mode lets us accomplish two tasks. Um, one, we can actually read the, the degree of rotation of the spindle. Right now it's saying it's at 0.5 degrees. If I reach forward here and manually rotate the die, you can see the, the digits going up in 10th degree increments. Um, so the other thing that will allow us to accomplish in the operational mode is we can set the degree of bend that we want the auto stop function to, um, to stop the bender at. If we hit plus or minus, we go into the edit of, of the edit system. So we'll push the button and right now you can see where we're at, you know, there's 99. Now if we want to go, let's say we want to set at 90, oh, I don't know, let's just say 96. Um, run her on back. If I hold the button down, she'll take off. So we're at 96. As soon as I let go of the button, you see it go back to the degree readout of the position. That means it's stored it in memory and it's permanent. There is no battery or nothing. It, it actually stores it in memory. And, um, um, so you could come back and turn a computer on in a year and a half from now and she'll be still reading the same thing. In fact, um, let's show you. Let's turn it on and off. Um, we're still set at P196 degrees. At, that, at this point, we would hit both buttons, we're in operational mode. We would simply turn on the motor and using the pendant, we would um, operate the bender and it will shut it off at the, at the desired degree of bend. And that is everything you need to know about the operation of the computer. Like I said, it's very simple. If you have a prior Model 50 series bender, say a Model 52 or 53, and there's almost 500 of them out there, so there's a lot of people. If you discover or decide that you really like the way this computer operates over your version one software. Um, remember JD Square, we don't forget our customers. You're gonna be able to upgrade your computer for free. We're gonna give you a new keyboard, the whole bit, and basically keep you current. We, we kind of like the new software a lot, and we'd like for you to take advantage of some of the features in that. If, you, if you're interested in that, please call sales or email them and they'll take care of you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video, and if we at JD Square could be of any assistance to you, please don't hesitate to call. Thank you very much, have a nice day.